Welcome to MoCo, my name is Stephanie Palomino. Today, first time on video, we will see how it looks like when someone gets assisted by Watson. Welcome Bart. Thank you. So I'm going to do a demonstration where I'm going to have uh, sensors that have um, hearables that have sensors that track my heart rate, my oxygen levels and different things. I'm also wearing an Apple Watch and I'm wearing underwear that has sensors that <laughs> uh, analyze my sweat. So, and I'm going to demonstrate how the future looks like, but I have to switch it here from left to right. So, hey Watson, I'm, I'm not feeling that well. Can, can you please check my health status? Hi Bart, make sure you are wearing those wearables that you want me to read. Yeah, yeah Watson, I just uh, set them up. My, my wearables are up to read. Go ahead. I have checked you, Dash. Your body temperature, your oxygen levels and heart rate seem to be normal. I am analyzing your sweat sensor. I can read that your cortisol levels are elevated, which means that you have higher stress levels. I checked your watch as well and noticed that you have been lacking sleep and did not move much. Can I check your location data and mails as well? Yeah, that sounds a bit like my week. Um, go ahead, yes, please. I have checked your calendar, your emails, and your location data. It seems that you have been traveling a lot and you took already five flights this week. The tone in the mails you wrote had 20% more the emotion of fear and 40% more anger. You have over 20 high important unanswered emails from your manager and some people have been trying to reach you more than five times. This could confirm your high level of cortisol. Yeah, it's year-end craziness. Don't remind me, please, of my boss calling me. I have to call him back. Um, is there anything I can do now? I scanned the medical digital libraries that were advised by your physician and your personal historical data. The most efficient things to lower your cortisol levels are change your diet and get more sleep. Yeah, change your diet. I'm not an expert. Can you give me the top five things I would need to eat and perhaps things I should leave? The top five to avoid are caffeine, alcohol, trans fat foods, vegetable oil, and seed oil. The top five to add and that fit your personal taste are avocados, berries, garlic, oysters, green tea. Oysters. <laughs> yeah, that, that was really helpful, especially the oysters. I love oysters. Um, thank you. I checked your electronically medical record and noticed that you did not analyze your blood and did not went to the physician since over 12 months. Do you want me to make an appointment for next week? Yes, the, yeah, I did went to a doctor. Please make an appointment. Okay, I have sent out a mail requesting for an appointment at your primary care physician. He does not offer online booking, so you will have to follow up on the thing. I will do so, Watson. That was very helpful. Thank you very much. I will fill up, follow up on that advice. So. I am glad I could help Bart. Yeah. Amazing. So Watson gave you a very concrete advice what to do next. And um, so when I am as an end user, can you start? Well, we, we are developing uh, prototypes in our lab that demonstrate the power of the platform. We have put all that technology into a platform that uh, developers can use. So it's called the Bluemix Watson Developer Cloud. Uh, we have brought 50 uh, APIs uh, to that platform and uh, we are inviting hackers, uh, companies to build solutions that exactly do that. We have services that translate speech into text, text into speech, um, all these kind of what we call cognitive services. And in half a year of now, they're like 100 services planned. So everybody can use that platform, it's open. Wow, I, I'm really excited to see what people will do with the platform. So thank you, Bart, for coming and showing us this very nice demo for the first time. Thank you so much for watching and see you soon.